some years ago, uh, a former intelligence officer told me every level of every security service in this country has been penetrated by Muslim Brotherhood. They have encrypted email accounts. They talk with each other all the time. They're virtually uh, undetectable. And then you've just said it again. We've got them all over the place. So how do we get them out? You know, in the interest of fairness and all that, and, you know, the ethical termination of, of uh, people who have a, a really good employment record. I mean, can we terminate people based on, it's like, you got the wrong affiliations. You're out. Well, that's discrimination based on my religious beliefs. Yeah, that's correct. Your religious beliefs are in conflict with our republic. Out. We can't really do that, can we, without... Um, yeah, sure you can. Legally, you can. Constitutionally, you can. Absolutely. It's a, there's so many ways that it is, but it's, it's before you take the action, you've got to get the consensus um, among the people that you're talking about, meaning among, uh, even within the FBI, but among the citizenry, and you've got to have that discussion. Uh, nowhere does uh, Islam, for instance, in this case, uh, define itself as a religion, merely a religion. As a matter of fact, uh, we have done uh, n- numerous videos and articles in the most widely used textbook for 12-year-olds in U.S. Islamic schools on page two. They teach Islam is, this is a quote, Islam is not a religion, however, but a complete way of life. They teach that Islam is a complete way of life, social, cultural, military, political, and religious, all governed by a foreign law, Sharia. And that makes it a totalitarian system governed by a foreign law, and there is not First Amendment protection for imposing that on U.S. citizens.